Now, as we return to normal, many offices, businesses, and schools are bringing back the staff, while others remain hybrid. So is your company's IT secure? Joining us to share how to keep our information safe, Paul Renando, co-owner of IT Support RI. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Thanks so much for, for being on with us. Now, a lot of people are, you know, working from home. So whether you work at home or in the office or hybrid of the two, IT needs to be working. What should we know? Basically, you want to be working. You don't want to change your practices where you're unsafe. So when the first rush came along to go to remote, Everyone went crazy, they were doing it wrong. You have to get people on VPNs, which is a virtual private network, whether it be software or hardware. After that, we pretty much got things under control. The hacking went way up, because with COVID and everything else, the attacks went way up, unbelievably, knowing that people are gonna be connecting in an insecure way out of the office. The thing that we're noticing the most now is the hybrid problem. They're going back to, like they wanna go back to the office, but now they're back home, you have to make sure you're staying in best practices. You have to make sure you're working behind you know, a VPN, working where it's encrypted data from wherever you are to that point. You're still working behind the protection of a firewall, monitored antivirus. If you don't have these things in place, you're gonna end up either falling for a phishing scam or getting hacked. It's as simple as that. Um, let's talk safety concerns as well, because I would imagine w when all of this happened, a lot of people went out and bought their own computers and they started working from home with their own personal computers. Now they may yep. be back and people may be bringing the computer or the laptop that they're kind of been doing work on back and forth. What's the security concern with that? Well, one of the things for practice they should do if they have a laptop and they're using it in a home and then bring it back to the office, it should only be connected when it's out of the office through a VPN. This way, there's nothing going back and forth with the computer. It's all within encrypted data points. Now, when you're back in the office, you're pretty safe because you're back within monitored antivirus, like I said, like our company does for everybody. Uh, you're behind a firewall, which is, is being protected. You should have email things in place. So you're always using the same programs in the same protection with the inner out of the office. It should always be behind that firewall. Talk to your IT professional who you use for IT. Make sure you absolutely are protected behind that firewall. And, and anytime you're out of the office, you're connecting through VPN. It's very, very important. You can't skip around that. And there have been a lot of cyber attacks. We hear this all the time. How can businesses protect themselves? We also hear that people don't back things up and store that someplace else. Again, your, your IT should be under, especially if you're any good size company, under an umbrella where someone is doing your antivirus, your, you know, your firewall, your backups. I have a, we have our own department that actually not only backs up your data, but we actually spin it up virtually when we do uh, updates and stuff. So if there ever was a breach, if anything ever happened, you wouldn't lose years and years of data. You can go back one version, two version, three version, and protect yourself. The other biggest, biggest, biggest thing, people, and I can't stress this enough, is you have to have multi-factor enabled. You have to have multi-factor enabled on your emails and on your computer. So in other words, you log into the computer, username, password, it needs to be multi-factor where it sends you a text. It sends you, uh, there's a Microsoft Authenticator one where it says, are you approving this sign-in? Now, some people think, oh, that's cumbersome. It's gonna drive me crazy. It's really not. Because once you're in your protected network, you're not gonna get that. It's always when you're signing into a foreign device or you, you want everything so virtual today, you can sign and check email on someone else's computer. Well, if you sign into Microsoft, you want the Authenticator to come up and say, is this you at this location? It's very easy for your IT to set up and it needs to be set up. One of the biggest things, if you want to go protection wise, is we use some programs that how they're tricking the pipeline and the, and the meat company and all this stuff is always through. They got all these protections in place. Everything is protected to the hill and the person clicks on an email. Mm -hmm. It looks like an instant email. You've got to be educated from your IT in phishing email scams. The other thing is there's other precautions you can take. Talk to an IT professional. One of the things that we do is, with the biggest scam, is you and I are going back and forth with emails for this meeting. They take one letter out of your name. I look up, I, I, I'm looking up, I'm talking, I think I'm talking, I'm not talking to you. Right. They're having me sign on to some other website yeah. or something like that. 
with our things, you get a red line. This is not the first, this is not the last person you talk to. Right. We do not recognize an email. It stops you from clicking on that and getting scammed. They are getting more and more advanced. Paul, thanks so much for your time. All great tips to keep us oh, safe you're welcome. while we were getting back to work or eventually back to school.